This is Diana Sullivan in Austin, Texas. This next cable is a five stitch braid. Now, one of the things I did differently with this cable is I went five whole rows between each of the twists. You can make these as short or as long as you want them. When you have an odd number of stitches that you're braiding, what you will find is you'll get a long loop here and then offset to it, the other long loop will be here. With an even number, these long loops would line up, but with an odd numbered cable, you get a long loop here and then a long loop here. You can braid different widths of cables, and here I've marked the center five needles to show how to braid a five needle cable. You have two cabling rows that you're going to repeat, and I'm going to take two groups of stitches and cable them each time. First I'm going to cable these two stitches that are on these two needles and then these two. So, so I've picked up the right two needles and I'm putting them down left needle first. So the left stitch, then put the right stitch on the left needle. Quick little twist and I'm going to do that with the next two I'm doing nothing with the last most needle in the group of five. Now you can do these as long as you want and the last one I did, I did three rows, but just for fun I'm going to do five rows. Now this next transfer I'm going to only use the four needles on the left and I'll go ahead and pick up these two stitches, the first and second in my marked group. I'm going to put the right needle down first. Get that latch open and do my twist that way. And I have realized that I'd be happier with the weight in the middle, so let me put that on. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the second pair. Just as before, the right stitch goes on first, then the left stitch. I'm going to do five rows. Now I mentioned that there are only two things we repeat. So we're going back to that first one where I pick up the rightmost pair, put the left stitch down first, and then pick up the next pair and put the leftmost stitch in that pair down first. Now I'm going to get the two on the left again. When I do the two on the left, the right stitch goes down first. This is the opposite of the two on the right. And then this next pair. Every so often, I want to enhance my cable by latching up alongside it. To do that, I drop the stitch just to the outside of the cable on each side, and I run it down. Then I take my latch tool and latch that one back up. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I 
I'll do a little bit more of this and then show you how it turned out. This is that five stitch braided cable and I think this little exercise will help you to understand how you could braid any width of cable, especially using the one stitch transfer tools.